Aadhi Shakti Tu, Nari Shakti Tu. Welcome to ITV Gold. And yes, I'm sure you must be thinking, who is this unmasked person? Before I unmask myself, I want to wish all of you happy Navratras. And now, let me unmask myself. Yes. Once again, welcome to ITV Gold. And this is Pia and Namaskar to all of you. And today uh, we are joined by Neha Lohia, a dynamic filmmaker and creative genius with a kaleidoscope of talent spanning filmmaking, entrepreneurship and writing. And let me also tell you Neha's journey uh, through the realms of advertising Hollywood and Bollywood is nothing short of all inspiring. But wait, that's not all. <laughs> Neha is not just a jack of all trades. Uh, she is a master too. She has worn the hats of a producer, director, you know, crafting cinematic wonders that have garnered accolades and admiration from all corners. And her passion for storytelling is a force to be reckoned with. And what's truly captivating is her thirst for creativity and spiritual nourishment, whether it's the silver screen, web series, or the world of advertising, Neha dives into each project as long as it resonates with her creative calling. And today we are in for a special treat as we will be definitely talking to her about her latest masterpiece, which is the De Devi song, Unmasked Goddess, a journey of empowerment, a music video uh, that uh, promises to be an artist marvel and it definitely is an artistic marvel it's not just a promise because you know I gotta see little bit snippets of it and it was like beautiful you feel you know very powerful and but the brilliance doesn't stop here joining Neha on this artistic journey is the talented Hollywood actress that is Holly Zuel <laughs> who embodies the inner warrior goddess and along with her, we have from, I think, Switzerland's beloved television personality. And I can see her, you know, as much as I saw her today, she definitely is beloved for everybody. <laughs> Ankita Makwana, uh, who channels the inner dark goddess. So I would like to welcome all the three pretty ladies. You all look gorgeous in your reds. And in fact, you know, I'm wearing the red too. Mm. So tell me, how are you guys feeling? Oh, thank you so much, firstly, Pia, for having us on your show. Thank you for wearing the color of Shakti, red, and joining us on on this, um, you know, on on this. Uh, journey that uh, we have collectively as women embarked upon you know from like various diverse backgrounds we've all collectively come together so thank you for joining us thank you for having us on the show and i'm so honored to have you know both my uh, colleagues and uh, actresses from the devi song on this show as well so so tell me what inspired you to make this a song devi um so if I give you the honest uh, story, uh, it was three years ago, I was doing a Navratri myself and I was doing a water fast and at that time um, I was doing the Durga Saptashati part which takes about uh, four to five hours every day to, to read that uh, prayer alone and I think on the seventh day or eighth day I sort of went into a trance and I had this vision to create a project like this. It was very powerful for me and I was like I didn't even know what would happen, how it would happen, how I you know, in my little capacity would be able to do it. And I don't know, this year, I think September, mid-September, it just enveloped me again. That thought started coming to me again and again in my dreams. And I was like, I haven't done anything about it. It's been three years. And it's like, you know, it's almost like the goddess is saying, you made a promise, you made a promise, keep it. And I was like, all right, let's go for it. And everything aligned. We got like Ritu Parnas and Gupta, who is a sensation. She's the most beautiful, stunning um, woman who could represent Shakti. And she is playing the lead. And then we have her seven forms in uh, in form of Holly Zoo. Well, um, Ankita Makwana, Nirupama Chandrasekharan, um, uh, you know, uh, Christine Mendes and two other actresses, they all came together and it sort of happened here in New York. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it sort of happened. And, and definitely I want you guys to talk to Ankita and Holly, you know, what drew you to this project? 
Yeah, absolutely. So what drew me to this project is I have an inner warrior goddess in me, as we all do. Hmm. So I think it's important to understand our inner being, right? And I'm working with the dark goddess, right? So there were many times on the set that the dark <laughs> goddess kind of looked at me and gave me that uh, devilish eye, like, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. And I really felt that when she did that to me mm-hmm. and I think this is very important to be a part for women empowerment in general. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what you. about you? Anna? Well, when Neha approached me, there was no, I mean, no two ways about it. I wanted to really do it. Also with Navratri around the corner and with, yeah, I thought that Ma is calling me for that. I was, I really felt it. and. But the thing is, the, uh, the interesting part was that she saw me as the dark goddess, mm. and I'm someone who's actually very happy-go-lucky. Mm. Uh, it was quite a challenge for me to be angry all the time or to be mad and to have that, yeah, those expressions. I mean, you'll hardly see me every mad, but it was <laughs> fun doing it. So how is it working with her? You know, I, I have heard that she's, when she's especially on the sets, she's very strict. She, she's very tentative and, mm. like you said, direct. So, yeah, but I love that. I love mm. that. She's on point and she never misses a beat. Mm. Thank you. Thank no, you for jo- putting jokes, up with us. Yeah, jokes apart. I mean, she has a vision and she clearly knows what she's looking for. And I think that's the beauty of the whole project as well. Because mm-hmm. you can see Neha's vision being there. Thank and you. I think that that's nice if you have a director like that who is actually very folk i mean who is very who knows what he wants and neha aapko apni safai mein kuch bolna hai i think um with these actresses and all the other actresses also there was such little direction that i really hmm. had to do hmm. i didn't really have to do much you know because in the original briefing or in the original round when i told them that this is what i am seeing in you and i want you to bring out your inner warrior i want you to bring out your inner darkness and then i want you to own it right hold it own it they just fell into their characters there was very little direction hmm. that i had to do so honestly all the credit of what you will see on the screen what you will see as visuals playing you know very soon is all that came from their own inherent talents that they have i mean it's just me who sort of saw it in them and, and it's called forth you know but it's all them so i i am so glad and honored to have worked with uh, all these seven amazing people and i think what was most beautiful was because ritu parna is the sutradha she is playing shakti who is a representative or like a prototype for every woman in this world and all of these other people were playing her inner characters the, her inner darkness her inner warrior her inner light her inner ancestor her inner child and her inner dancer all of them came together so beautifully that it, it you can literally feel it that yeah i have this also in me i have this also in me so i think that's what uh, i would like to say in my safai that when you see it um, you know rather than um, uh, seeing it in individuals just see it as a reflection of yourself in that moment and see if you can bring that forth in you well you know neha is gaane ka collaboration is like gone from everywhere the globe so any challenges you had while doing it aur ye ye sare actors maan nahi rahe the ki hum aise nahi karenge wo nahi karenge honestly hmm. i think hum thoda lucky rahe hmm. because i would say we like like ankita also mentioned and holly also said we we were blessed i feel on this project because we had a lot of support coming from unknown and known sources honestly mm. things were aligning things were falling in place there was this one point uh, when we were filming where we were all stunned the way the dance broke out on the set we all literally had goosebumps mm. we had not planned for it but it's like some shakti some energy just took over wow. took over so no matter how many obstacles we had obstacles to the you know obstacles to bahut sare the editing mein post production mein ab vfx dekhenge vfx karte karte hamari jaan nikal gayi mm. <laughs> but then each time each time we had some force that came to support us and push us one step forward saying okay this is the obstacle jump over jump over jump over and i think every obstacle was met with an equal or higher power which said this is going to lift you higher so yeah it it was all it's 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 been such a journey for all of us also this Absolutely. process and uh, Holly and Ankita you want to you know talk about your experiences you know working like globally like that 
So India has always been very dear to me. Hmm. I went on the AIDS awareness tour in hmm. 2006 with Miss Universe Zuleika Rivera, hmm. and I traveled to seven different cities: hmm. um, uh, Mumbai, Chennai, uh, Goa Beach. Just <laughs> Absolutely mm. stunning. And I've also worked with many designers, uh, mm. Indian designers. Mm. I um, actually have a sari. Mm. Wow. <laughs> yes, I do. You so. should have worn that today. <laughs> we're waiting so. for the actual launch day to wear it. <laughs> okay. Today we're making an announcement with your channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ankita, what's it for you? Tell, tell us about it. Well, I've worked internationally as well, of course. And um, as, I, as I said at the beginning, I'm from Switzerland and I've worked all over Europe and also in Bollywood movies. But this is the first time I'm working in New York mm. and I really loved the experience, also especially working with Neha as a director. But for me personally, the challenge was, as I mentioned, to be in my character all the time because the set was so much fun and everyone was like very happy and the the um, yeah the ambiance was really nice and yeah so um yeah the, the ambiance was really nice very friendly very everyone was laughing and all but i had to always stay in character and i have to be mad all the time and that was a bit challenging for me to be angry <laughs> So talking about your characters, did you have to like work towards them first practice or anything else? For me, yes, I had to I had to work for that because as I said, I'm a very happy and or, or I don't get or I don't show anger that often or that much. Luckily, mm. actually, I like that mm. by myself. But yeah, for this character, obviously, you have to bring out your inner inner um, dark goddess. And I'm very happy that Neil actually she showed us or she directed us in a very nice way. Well, I think I'll have to take classes from Neha. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. In her thing. You are amazing already. You are amazing. You, I, I always watch your show and I'm like, wow, this woman, she's so graceful and uh, you have such beautiful ways to communicate and to make sure that you how you uplift the society here. And I'm like very honored, very oh, honored. I'm honored that you guys are here. Uh, so Holly, yes, go ahead. Yeah, so Neha said that um, at first she said, oh, can you look in your closet <laughs> for, for an outfit? And she said, oh, you could either be a dark red goddess, because I didn't know much about the project, or you could be um, a, a like inner goddess warrior type. Mm. And I said, warrior? Mm. Yeah, that's me. Mm. I'm a warrior and I lead the pack. Mm. I always kick down the doors <laughs> and I get what I want. Right. Okay. So that really resonated with me. Mm -hmm. And again, with India being so dear to me, I think this is yeah. just a tremendous project and I'm a huge believer in women empowerment. Lovely. And I think, you know, after the show is done, I might need your help too. Okay, so let's kick down some doors. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, Neha, let's talk about uh, Ritu uh, Parna Sen Gupta. How did you decide to have her? Honestly, I had a... It's a dream come true, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, because when I was envisioning Shakti, who is the protagonist of this song, when I was envisioning Shakti, I had nobody else in mind but Ritu. Mm -hmm. And Ritu was in India at that time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, how am I going to fly her down? She has other commitments. She's doing another project in Bollywood. And she has so many commitments in, you know, the Bengali cinema where she's a national award winner. And I was like, how am I going to bring her? What's going to happen? And it so happened that we decide, I was like, okay, I don't know how it's going to happen. Goddess is going to help. We decided, and I don't know how we, me, Ankita, and there was this another, this another uh, uh, actress who's in the in the video, uh, Christine Mendes. Three of us were in a cafe saying, how do we approach Ritu? How do we do this? And we looked at her Instagram, mm -hmm. and she had put a video, a selfie video, which says, "Hi, I'm in New York." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Oh my God, really? Yeah, really?" And I was like, "Okay." So we're making the call, and we made the call to her, and we explained. I mean, I made, I explained the project to her. Also, our co-producer uh, from Apple Productions, Mr. Tirlok Malik, hmm. uh, who you know, he's a known personality here, everybody mm -hmm. knows. Um, he is also a very dear friend with Ritu. And he said, Nehaji, I will also put in a word and I will also speak to her. So he spoke to her and then I explained the project and halfway of my explanation, she said, I'm in. 
She said, I'm in. Don't even, you don't even need to tell me anything more. The minute I told her it is a, a anthem for women empowerment, it is something that we're trying to create for an integration. We want people to drop their masks. We want people to drop their weapons. We want all the women, you know, because that's how we are seen in the society. We are either moving around with some sort of a mask and this mask is, is, is like a symbol, you know, but we're either wearing a mask of a daughter, sister, mother, worker, this, that, abused one, victim, some or, some or the other mask. We use a mask to survive in the society. And I said, Ritu, I want you to take off all the masks and do that as, an, as a mirror so that every woman can do that at some level. And then I want you to also drop the weapons because that's what we do next. After the mask, we hold on to a weapon saying, I have to fight for myself all the time. And I said, drop the weapon. There's so much war, so much hatred in the world right now. And the least we can do as mothers, as creators is to lower the weapons because the minute we lower the weapons and open up our compassion, show up as our integrated whole self, we will embrace the whole society. We will embrace all of it. And that's what I really wanted to do because it's a, it's very hurtful what's happening right now in the world. And, and this is um, our little effort to say that as mothers, as women, as uh, creators, it is us who has birthed this society and it is us and our love that can help heal it and piece it together. So this is um, my request and my plea. I know, you know, uh, <laughs> Neha, definitely your project is, I think it's, you know, it seems deeply empowering. So tell me, uh, how do you hope this Devi song will impact uh, women or our viewers? Uh, honestly, as a creator, I, uh, you know, with my folded hands, I will give it my 100% for the idea that has come into me and through me. How you receive it is something that I honor you and your own vision to see how you will embody this, how you will feel it. And I am nobody to say how you should feel or how you should think or how you should take it into your life. But this is a message that I wanted to clearly give along with my entire team that we as women have bought this society we have this responsibility to drop our masks, to even lower our weapons. I'm not saying lower your shield, hold on to your shield, but don't be stuck in one of your modes. Don't be stuck in just saying, I want to be just the light. I want to be just the joyous person. Embrace your darkness, embrace your warrior, embrace your inner child, embrace the inner ancestor, embrace all parts of yourself because the day you start to walk as an integrated whole in this world, there is no power that's greater than that. And that is the Shakti that is in all of us. Till the time we are in the inner conflict with our own self, it reflects in the world as the outer conflict. So this is all that, uh, you know, we are um, trying to deliver as a message uh, with, with this project. And uh, uh, with my heart, I hope it is received. Absolutely. And I think you have taken a beautiful project and a very strong message is in there. Basically, you are promoting self-acceptance also and, you know, embracing one's inner self. So I want Ankita and Holly also to talk a little bit about yes. it. You know, what do you think? How is going, it going to impact the women out there? Me personally, it's always been an internal struggle with darkness. Darkness will come on to you and you cannot let that affect you. You have to go with the light side. So playing the inner warrior goddess, I was able to work with the actress and look into her eyes and see her pain and be able to give her that sword. And when I handed her that sword and she looked at me in the eye, I could almost see her with a tear in her eye. I said, it's gonna be okay, without actually saying it. And when I gave her the sword, she took it and she stood up and the angel came in and the mother and, and all the darkness lifted and she started dancing. It was just so beautiful. Um, this it was different to me. I don't understand the song, but it's okay because the message is just beautiful light. And it's what, what you feel right inside, the yes. World. Yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think um, this song is for women in so many levels because as Holly just said, she didn't understand it, but she, still she felt it. And I don't think, I mean, we understand it and for us, it's a different meaning. There is a different meaning. There is there are a lot of goddesses in um, in the lyrics, and the song is very powerful. It's 
it's not in Shakti, right? And but I also feel that in today's world, it's so important for not only women but everyone, also men, for everyone to accept themselves, how, who they are, and how they are. Especially also with social media, portraying pictures. We also we all always show our good lives on social media. Of course, we never show when we are sad or up or or down or whatever. But to accept also that part of our lives, it's so important. And I think that's the beauty of this um, video as well, that we see, obviously we see many characters um, showing the inner goddesses, I mean the inner selves, but it's in all of us. All these characters are in all of us and it's so important to accept that. And I hope that people will be able to accept that about themselves as well. I just want to add one thing, that in the world or in our lives, you know, we are always told, "Burai ko chodo, burai se dur rao, darkness se dur rao, darkness is bad." We are always told that, but without some darkness, you would never be able to respect the light. And darkness is not always bad. The Kali's darkness is not a darkness of the, the killing of Kali. Is not a killing out of just anger and wrath and like mindless. It is killing to protect. It's like today, if a child, if my child is harmed as a mother, I will fight, I will protect. My inner darkness will come out, but that is to protect. And we need that as women in the society today because the abuse is not going to stop. The craziness is not going to stop. The male gaze, the, all, all those things, they are not going to stop. They're going to continue. And you need that. But the, the, till the time internally you are rejecting it and rejecting it, you are scattered. And as a scattered person, when you walk, you are so vulnerable to more hurt, more abuse, more pain. You don't want that. In order to rise up from suffering, you have to integrate. So that's what, um, you know, uh, when, when we talk darkness, it's always this. And I was like, why? Why? You know, so. And I think you said it very rightly. But now let's talk about the beauty which is yes. going to be releasing soon. Oh, yeah. So just tell us the releasing date and, uh, uh, you know, where can people <laughs> watch it? So uh, making this announcement for the first time on ITV Gold and very proud to do this. Uh, we Our song is being distributed by Universal Music Worldwide. It's releasing on the seventh day of Navratri, which is 21st of October. It will be across every platform, network, and channel that you can possibly think. And uh, Universal uh, Music is going to do its best to promote it. So we are very, very honored that at Universal is supporting all of us women and the whole team and this project. Uh, you know, So thank you to the team of Universal and thank you to IT we go for allowing us to break this news with you. <laughs> and definitely I would like to thank all three of you for coming here and talking to us and talking to our viewers about this release. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And I hope you all see our song and share it with your sisters, mothers, girlfriends, even men, boys, also, everyone. Yeah, yes, men. everyone. <laughs> I, we hope you, you like it, share it and you, you intake some of this message and uh, thank you. Just remember, Adi Shakti tu, Nari Shakti tu. Happy Navratri. <laughs>